Hey everybody, it's Coach Bill Hart, and I am coming to you via video because I posted on this topic this morning about silencing your inner critic uh, regarding video. What? Here's what I know. I, I've coached enough of you to know, here's what hangs us all up, and that is, uh, I don't like the way I look, I don't like the way I sound, um, I don't know what to talk about, I don't have a list of topics. So I want to try and address all of those as quickly as I can, because one of the keys to effective videos to keep them really short. So um, it, as far as equipment goes, th this is my iPhone. I've, I've got an iPhone 7 Plus. It's the, um, what would that be, forward-facing camera. So I can see myself in the phone. It shoots in 720p instead of 1080, but it's totally fine for how most of us are gonna consume video. So that works out really well. I've got it on a very short tripod, one like this. You can buy it at Target. Um, go on Amazon and you can buy a universal uh, cell phone adapter for a tripod. So it literally just threads into the top of the tripod. I can't show it to you because of course the phone is in it. Um, and it just clamps onto the phone, right? So it just holds it. You can see when I put my hand up in front of my face that there are shadows there and that's because there's a light on the other side of me on a large tripod that sits about four feet four and a half feet high and it's a little led light and if you literally just go on amazon and, and search for led light for video this one is 39 bucks it was given to me as a gift by my friend ray eikoff shout out to the bald eagle ray very kind of you a couple of years ago thank you i use it all the time and it's great because the, the things that people don't think about in video are th they'll open up a laptop and shoot it from the camera and you're shooting up your nostrils and the background of the ceiling tiles behind you. Not a good an an angle. So get the, get the camera at eye level. That's number one. Think about your background. That's number two. This is not an accident that I have all these fake books here. So it looks like as a coach that I actually read them. Um, but it creates an angle, right? It creates an angle. And then I happen to have sort of an interesting angle back here. And the idea is that it, it just creates depth. So if you, if you picture me just sitting in front of a, a flat wall right now, it just wouldn't be very interesting. So think through your background, get light on your face, uh, get a good mic. That I can hold up. I, it might sound a little funky as I maneuver it here, but this is the one that I use. It's a an Apogee, I bought it um, at the Apple store. Again, you can get this on Amazon. It just plugs into my phone. That's all there is to it. But you can you can get them for $30. You, you just need a good mic. Don't rely on the microphone on your phone. Um, it, will, it will make a world of difference in your video. And I'm just sort of sharing all the little things that uh, that I've learned over the years. I think those are the basics. The way that I edit them, this always comes up. Uh, I'm a Mac guy, haven't owned a PC in years. Um, so I just use iMovie, it's super easy. I just plug it in, I trim the ends, right? So that when I lean forward and push the button, you won't see that here to record and to stop recording. I just pull those in and trim those out so that all you see is me starting to talk. You can also do that with a remote. I have one, I just don't use it. It's easier for me to just do it in iMovie. I drop in a fade to black at the front, fade to black at the end, and it's not so abrupt. Uh, and then titles. I'll just I'll just drop in a title and I always end with my website, coachbillhart.com. That's all there is to it, you guys. But the main thing, the main thing is, here's my inner critic. My inner critic is going to say, dude, you're old. You have gray hair. You're wrinkled. Your internal image is you're 35. Who's this guy? For you, it might be your weight. You might think your voice is too high. Um, Chris Hall, shout out to you, Chris. Uh, today, I thought this was great on Facebook. You said when you first did video, you felt like your voice was too deep. I don't know what's working out okay for James Earl Jones, just saying. Um, and Barry White and Trace Atkins, go with the deep voice. It's okay. Anyway, get over it. And as my friend Kai McBride commented this morning, um, remember that the person that you see on video is the person that sees you in your office, at Starbucks, or any time that they get together with you. So the, forget the whole camera adds 10 pounds thing, by the way, those days are over. What you see is what you get. And if you don't like what you see, do something about it. But the magic of video is that people literally will tell you after they've seen your videos, they'll say, you know, I feel like I know you. 
It creates a stronger connection. There is no more powerful way that I can think of to build your business. And the last thing that I'll say is about topics. Here's what I know. Whatever it is that you do professionally, you have meaningful conversations with people that mean something to people. Look for the topics that resonate. When you find something that resonates, talk about that. And it does, th look, this is a five minute video. I would never do a five minute video these days. This is more instructional. Keep it tight, stay on one topic, makes it so much easier on you. Cannot wait to see your videos. Rocket, silence that inner critic. It's standing right there on your shoulder. Just go like this. <laughs>